Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, out of Mystic, Connecticut. I'm a financial advisor. And today I'm here to speak to you about how do you know when you have enough saved in order to retire. And it's tremendously important. <laughs> I know people think of it all the time, oh, I'll be just fine. Well, there's many misconceptions that people have about this. Uh, first of all, I hear often from my clients, they say, well, I won't need that much to retire. I don't spend that much. Well, you have to think about it this way. When do you spend most of your time? Not when you're working, right? You don't spend most of your money while you're working because you're working. So you spend it on the weekends when you have free time. Once you retire, all you have is free time. Well, I say that. You know, you have your honey-do list and stuff. But basically, you have a lot of free time. So... Where are we going on vacation? Let's travel this weekend. Let's go here. These are things that you really need to think about, okay? Usually, we say it's about 70 to 80% that you will need to retire on your salary. So if you're, let's just throw a ballpark figure out there so everyone is on the same page. Say it's $100,000 that you make a year now. And you're used to that lifestyle. You're accustomed to those, you know, your spending habits, your house payment, your kids, your dogs, your, you know. So you go to think about it, you need 70 to 80% of that. So you're looking at 70 to $80,000 a year that will allow you to retire comfortably, okay? You don't wanna make a huge transition from your normal life to doing nothing because you can't afford to do anything. You and only you can determine what your lifestyle is gonna be like in the future. You need to sit down and make a list of things that you want to continue to do. If you want to buy that house, you know, down south, Myrtle Beach, you know, is a great area, so if you want to go and travel, if you want to buy that house to go and travel to, we have to account for that, okay? We need to make sure that that's something that's in your plan, as well as, do you plan on putting your kids through school? Are you going to continue to pay for their college? Because if that's something you want to continue to do, that factors in. Do you need to work a couple more years? Do you need to, you know, tell your husband, look, you're not retiring at 60. We're going to work until we're 65. You know, these are things that you decide what you want to do in the future. There's incomes that come in from different areas. And you can see there's a sheet that I left back there. There's an article that I brought. And you can read through, and it tells about the 70 to 80% that you'll need. But it also tells you where does this money come from. A lot of people think, well, I have a Social Security. Okay. We, that's another thing that you really want to think about. There's so many tiny little niches in Social Security that you need to take advantage of every single one of them that you can. If you have, say that your spouse, uh, we'll just say that the husband in this case, um, should be getting about $2,000 a month in Social Security. And the wife, being the stay-at-home mom, uh, didn't work as long as the husband, would only collect around $500 a month in Social Security. Well, if she didn't know that she could take half of his Social Security when it's time for him to claim, that she could get $1,000 instead of $500, that's a big difference, right? Those are things you need to think about. Also, people that have divorced in the past. Um, if a woman uh, and husband were married and the, they had a divorce early on, she remarried or he remarried, Later on, say that her husband passed away and she finally became of age to collect Social Security. She's allowed, if her first husband was, you know, this uh, CEO at a company and he made a substantial income, she's allowed to take his Social Security, even though that they were divorced and she had remarried after. There's certain little year stipulations they could have been married for this many years, but these are things people don't understand. Mm -hmm. And we can go through and we can look at little things like that and we can tell you about it. Besides the Social Security, there's other things. Your personal savings investments, you need to pull it all together. Some people try to diversify and have 10 different companies handling things for them. That's not really the way that you diversify. To diversify so that you're not at risk, you need to have somebody know that you have something here, 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 and here and make sure that you're not at risk. If you're nearing retirement, don't put 100% of your money into the stock market, okay? <laughs> I mean, you don't want to take, you might as well take it right out of the account, go right down to the casino and have at it, because that's really a risk that you're taking. So, be safe. 
and plan for the future. Know when it's right for you to retire, and know when you're both comfortable. If you're married, you want to make sure that you are comfortable with your retirement age, what you plan to do with that, how you plan to retire, and can we retire comfortably. Um, also along on this, and I left some packets in the back, I do have some review forms. Right now, I couldn't do it before tax season, it was wild around there, but right now after tax season, I'm willing to sit down and do a review for anyone that would like to come in. You just bring in your paperwork. If you already deal with an advisor, that's great. This would be a second opinion for you. I just run a report, take a look at everything you have, show you this is what you could have. If I see that what you have right now is in your best interest, I'll let you know this is perfect. You're right on track, keep doing what you're doing. If it looks like you're a little too risky, you know, we're gonna talk about those things based on your goals for the future. So please take advantage of this, give us a call. Um, I'd love to sit down with you and take a look at whatever it is you have concerns or questions about. So especially with the taxes that we have going on with the state taxes now, mm -hmm. uh, the changes that we've had for the last two years that are going to continue through 2012, it's very, very important to know <laughs> where your money's going to go, especially at this age. If you're a baby boomer, then you're preparing for your parents and you're helping them with their estates.